Hello friends, back again. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Tom. This is a quick video about my top five picks for Iceborne's last returning monster. So let's get into it. Also, really quickly, if you haven't watched my top 10 monsters that are most likely for Iceborne, I got six out of 10 right so far. I'm hoping to get the seventh right. That one could, could be, I, 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 might, I might get it. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see in a couple of days, you know? But if you'd like to check that out, link will be in the description, and I'll have a little pinned thing up in the top right as well. So anyway, let's get right into what I think could be the next, these are the top five monsters that I think could be returning as the last monster for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Okay, so first of all, I just want to say I'm not going to mention anything that was in my last top 10 video, just because those are already there. So I want to start off by just going off with what we think is probably the most likely thing to happen. And that would probably be either this first monster or the last monster that I'm going to name. So stick around. The first monster I'm going to name is Kushala Deora, except Rusted Kushala Deora. Yes, that's right. So if you don't know, the shell of a Kush is actually at the top of Horfrost Reach. We actually did get a assignment from the researcher asking us to take a picture of it. This doesn't mean for sure anything, but it could be building up to us getting a rusted Kush. Kush is already a very hard fight, and rusted is just a dick. Honestly, it's already hard enough to hit the damn thing, so it's always up in the air. And when it's rusted, you just need even higher sharpness to penetrate it, so that could just be problematic. Moving on. I'd like to say a contour, but a contour was in my last top 10 video. So let's move on to what I think maybe Iceborne really needs. Iceborne really is lacking a massive monster fight that's a lot of fun. We have the Zoro Magdros fight, but it's a little dull. I'm not going to lie. We're not going to get this, but it would be so cool if we got Dalamadur with a massive lack of giant monsters. Like, like I was talking about, the obvious choice would be a really great massive monster fight. So, which points me to my favorite massive monster fight in the series, which is Dalmador. Why is it so good? Because literally, you fight a giant snake, and you're actually fighting it. It's actually trying to kill you. It's not just walking, or s slithering, whatever. There are no cannons, no ballista, you just take your weapon and you beat the thing to death, like the hunters of the old ways. Noteworthy things about the fight are that it actually has two lock-on targets. You can target its face and its tail, and you can cut off its tail shell. It has a one-shot mechanic for all those people that think that Monster Hunter World was the first game, or first Monster Hunter game to actually have a one-shot mechanic. Well, you are wrong. I'm pretty sure Fatalis did in the first game as well, and Yamasukami. And you can actually climb on the monster and carve its face while it's alive. Pretty unique, pretty awesome. Such a great fight. Moving on to my first honorable mention, Gogmazios. God damn it, I would love to fight Gogmazios in Monster Hunter World. That would be amazing. Another massive monster fight that would be so cool. However, I doubt this monster will really make its way into the series. My guess is because that the, dev the devs are really focusing on elemental things in Iceborne. I don't think they're going to go for another like blast type elemental thing. If they did, that would be really cool though. That would be really cool. An awesome pick would be the Lucent Nargakuga. Nargakuga is one of the only monsters that doesn't have a variant in the world, so it would be really cool if we got the Lucent Nargakuga. Plus, it can go invisible, which is just so awesome, and I think it's some, it gives us a variety that we don't really have in Iceborne right now. So Lucent Nargakuga would be really, really cool. However, I also don't really think that one's going to be it. Now, if I could opt in for an Elder Dragon that we don't have yet, I would say... Camellios would be so cool. And I'm not even sure why I think Camellios, but my gut is just saying this Mon would be so great in Iceborne. I don't know why. It just would be... Ah! And we don't have any enemies that steal items from us anymore, so that could be a nice little rager nod, you know? It was such a pain in the ass in the old games when you'd get something really important taken from you, like a max potion, and then you just can't get it back. Camellios is an absolute fan favorite among the Sirius, so it would make sense, and also having some of the coolest armor ever makes it a great candidate. Also, it would give us better poison weapons, which have been slowly outdone by the many free updates that we've been getting. Alright, which brings us to the main course, ladies and gentlemen, the Fatalis. 
and I don't know what version of the Fatalis we're going to get. Maybe we're going to get the OG Black Dragon himself. Maybe we're going to get his brother, the Crimson Fatalis. Or maybe we'll even get the fucker, the White Fatalis. Ooh, that would be scary. I'm so ready already. Damn, I want it. So when people look back at the Fatalis fight, maybe it's not as glorious and as exalted as everyone hypes it up to be and that's kind of the way that Elatrion was too so a real so the fight the older fight is very outdated and clunky so it would be nice to get an updated version of Fatalis that would actually kick our asses into the ground and um it would also probably have a uh, one hit kill move so whatever but that would be awesome it's also an extremely hard monster to cut so you'd probably need purple sharpness my guess is either that we're going to get an old fatalis so the og black dragon fatalis or maybe we might get a new world fatalis something totally unique to iceborne oh that would be so cool Anyway, those are my picks, friends. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Let me know down below if you think something else is going to be coming. Or if you think I'm right, let me know which one you think I'm right about down below. All right, friends. Take care of yourself. Happy hunting.